Well, believe it or not, more and more vets are recommending and understanding raw a bit more these days. Although there's still a lot of people, including some vets, who don't like, don't recommend, or are flat out against raw. Mm -hmm. Instead of getting into philosophical debates about whether this or that is better, we are actually going to look at some ingredients of these foods and we're gonna see which ones are better. Now, it doesn't take a knucklehead like me to tell you which ones are better. So I hope you can make up your mind. The first we're gonna look at is Royal Canin and Allergenic. We have as ingredients, maize, starch, feather hydrolysate with low molecular weight, we have copra oil, soya oil, we have vegetable fibers, and then we have animal fats. We are also going to look at Purina Proplan hypoallergenic. We have corn starch, we have hydrolyzed soya protein, we have rapeseed oil, we have sugar, uh, which they claim is a purified carbohydrate source. And then we are going to look at some raw options that we sell, for example. Some of the ingredients will be lamb tripe, duck with bone, lamb liver, lamb kidney, beef tripe, organic chicken with bone, beef liver, beef kidney, British chicken with bone, British beef green tripe, British beef kidneys, fresh carrots, fresh organic virgin coconut oil and fresh broccoli for example. So on one side you have copra oil and soya oil and maize starch and animal fats and sugar and rapeseed oil and all these things and on the other side you have lamb tripe and beef liver and chicken with bone. So which of those ingredients are better? Well you tell me and without getting too specific if you have a dog with an allergy and the vet puts you on something hypoallergenic or analogenic and within the analogenic ingredients we see animal fats do we know what animal that fat is coming from we don't they don't know you don't know i don't know no one knows but if I give you lamb tripe and duck with bone, a lamb liver, and the dog has a reaction to those ingredients, will we have a direct correlation of what's triggering the allergy? Yes, we will. But if we give the dog sugar, if we give the dog maize starch, and we give, if we give the dog animal fat, are we going to know what we are giving the dog? We are not gonna know what we are giving the dog. And listen, some of these fears and some of these criticisms of raw food by some vets and there are fewer and fewer of them hopefully as time passes on are completely unfounded the risk of salmonella for example well i want to talk to people like you who will do their research i want to talk to people who will be responsible and who will want to feed their dogs the best way possible and one of the things they will do is store and thaw and prepare things accordingly so that the raw food doesn't attract any risks of salmonella and it doesn't have to be raw i mean on screen now you have royal canin analogenic and a list of ingredients there and one of the brands of kibble we sell and you see very vague ingredients in one and then you see very good ingredients in the other so which ones are better this is not a matter of discussion anymore you can check for yourself which ones are better which ingredients are better how do you want to feed your dog and listen if you like these brands if you are happy feeding your dog animal fat and soya oil and sugar then phenomenal then that's great that's that's your prerogative that's your choice we will never sell these things we will never sell royal canin or purina propran or any of these things why because the ingredients are absolutely atrocious in my opinion in our opinion so we only want to sell a few brands that are actually good for dogs or that we believe are much much better for dogs these beliefs are anchored in the quality of the ingredients of our food